last yet, Trevor. Well, that was a slap to the face now, wasn't it? So, yesterday, and by yesterday I mean the day before the day I made this video, two demos came out on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. And considering that these games are both highly anticipated, I thought I might as well do an opinions video for once. Because to be honest, I've been extremely interested in these two games since I first saw their trailers. The games I'm talking about are Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate. Now before I go on, I will say, this is an opinions video, and is about nothing but my opinion on the games. I've only played the demos, so I can't give full thoughts. Just first opinions. Now I'm not saying that you can't say your own thoughts. If you're gonna say them, just be civil about it. So well, let's start off with the game that I've been most interested in, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. To be brutally honest, I had never played or even heard of Monster Hunter until I actually saw some stuff from Monster Hunter Tri for the Wii, and it looked pretty interesting. And when I heard it was getting an updated version on the Wii U and 3DS, I thought I'd look into it. Thank god it got a demo. At first, I was a bit unsure about what the game would be like, considering I hear it's a game that takes patience to get into. I went into the game knowing jack squat about the controls, and I got pissed off. But once I actually did get into it, I thought to myself, this is friggin' brilliant. I have to say that the first thing that struck me was this game's graphics. They look as good as Try on Wii, if not even better. I think it's safe to assume that these are the best graphics on the 3DS. It even runs at a smoother frame rate than Kid Icarus Uprising and looks better in general. I could just gush about the graphics of this game but what do I think of the gameplay? Personally, I think it controls really well and it just feels so good to hit a monster. Sometimes though, when I kill a small harmless monster to get items, I feel terrible for it. But the combat is just so much fun, I can't help but just massacre the poor things. What kind of savage am I? But depending on your weapon, the animations can be really slow so it takes a while for your weapon to make contact. But that's fine. I know this is to add some strategy with your attacks and it really makes me think about how I will go about wailing away. Speaking of weapons, there are a lot. I won't go in depth as I haven't tried all of them yet, but the ones that I have used are the Switch Axe, Great Sword, Dual Blades and the Sword and Shield. The Switch Axe is easily my favourite as it's basically two weapons in one, plus it is really strong. Other means of strategy involve knowing when to sharpen your weapon or use a potion at the right time or using a barrel bomb and so on without getting attacked. One thing that I do want to say is that when I heard there was a time limit for killing your target monster, I thought it would suck because I saw that some battles can take over half an hour. But it doesn't actually suck at all. They give you plenty of time and for me it added a great sense of urgency. And of course this game is actually pretty challenging. One of the main things you will have to do in this game is learn off a monster's attacks and know their attack pattern or else you are done for. This is certainly a game that you just can't rush into. But even killing a monster or even just hitting it feels so good like I established before. Especially when you finally get the big one down. They don't have health bars and the fights go on for ages making it extremely intense. But one thing I will say is that I'm not really fond of the water battles. They're a bit clunky but it's not too bad once you get used to the control. Speaking of which I had no issues with the camera and control at all and it just felt really well done. And really that's all I have to say about this game. In short, beautiful graphics, brilliant and satisfying gameplay, simple objective, intense atmosphere, great battles, this is definitely on my list. As soon as the game comes out, that is. Now it's time to talk about the black sheep of the bunch. Castlevania Lord of Shadow Mirror of Fate. Seriously, all I ever hear from people about this game is Nee, crappy graphics, God won't rip up, not Castlevania, not like the classics we all know and love, blah blah blah, <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like the 
the old school Castlevania games as much as the next guy, but seriously, these complaints are ridiculous. Now, I'm not familiar with the Lords of Shadow series, but I think it's supposed to be a reboot on the Castlevania franchise. It is constantly criticized for being too much like God of War. People always say that hack and slash games with combos and bugs rip off God of War. Why, is God of War the only franchise allowed in the genre? For God's sake! Moving on, Mirror of Fate is actually the first 2D installment in the Lords of Shadow series. I was interested in this game as it was advertised with intense rip combat and extreme platforming. I'm all up for intense combat and I love some good platforming and let me tell you, this game actually delivered. Well, the demo anyways. Yeah, I said it. I actually liked the demo. One complaint that I can understand though is that the graphics can be pretty pixelated at times. But I love how the game as a whole looks and the 3D looks really good. There's actually a bit where they want you to have the 3D on. <laughs> I love stuff like that. And besides, why should the graphics matter much? But enough about that, what do I think of the gameplay? To be brutally honest, I really like it. The combat is fast paced and free flowing and I like the platforming, with one of the main things being the places you can swing from. Super Castlevania 4 anybody? The controls work well and they're nowhere near as stiff as the old school games, but one thing that I don't like about the gameplay are the quick time events. They aren't bad, but they kind of tick me off a bit. I also don't like that you, when you're opening a treasure chest, instead of just pressing R for using things in the background, you press R and then you mash the B button. May I ask why? Trevor can swing a whip all over the place and take down armies of skeletons, but can't open a chest that easily? Video game logic. Anyways, my first impression of the bosses is that they're probably going to be pretty damn epic. The mini boss that appears at the beginning of the level is quite challenging, and this yoke brought in by a bunch of scotlets known as punchbacks is pretty tough as well. But to finish a boss, you have to grab it and then press the right button when it says, or it'll regain health, and if you press the wrong button, the boss kills you. But really, that's the only issue I have with the boss fights. Overall, I can tell this will be an underrated game, and certainly the game I will get along with Monster Hunter if I can. I'll probably have to wait until my birthday, but for the time being, I have three games that I've had since Christmas that I haven't, and I haven't beaten them yet. It's either because I've been busy, or because these things are just so long. That's not a bad thing anyways. And also lads, if you're tired of all the new Castlevania games, just go back and play the old ones, it's not that hard. Anyways, this has been my opinion on the upcoming games mentioned in the video. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments. Anyways, this has been The Fabulous Fiend, and you know what I must do.